So today we're going to be making a two-way salad. So the first one's going to be a salad that you guys are probably a little bit more accustomed to and it's going to be a shrimp kale salad. We're going to have a bunch of veggies on top. It's going to be super tasty and delightful and we're going to be using shrimp for that but you guys can opt it out for any other protein of your choice. And the second one's going to be a fruit salad. It's basically like a bowl of fruit but we're going to be plating it really nice. I think it's going to look fantastic if you have it out when you have Guess over, I think it'll look really good. So let's go and check out these ingredients. So we're gonna start off by making the salad dressing first and I'm gonna use a mason jar and I really like using mason jars for salads because then I can shake it and pour it directly onto the bowl of salad and then if there's extra, you just store it as is in the fridge for future use and I feel like most of the times people think the unhealthiest part about the salad is a dressing, which is true because the store-bought ones can be high in fat and high in sugars, which is why I really like to make my own. To this mason jar, let's add in a fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil, also known as EEOO. I think that's kind of funny. Let's add in the juice of one fresh Meyer lemon. I have chunks of uh, lemon in there, but that's all good. I look kind of like a little bit of a texture to my dressing. Two teaspoons of honey. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Salt and black pepper will be to taste. Now let's close this back up. I'm gonna massage half of this dressing into the salad and save half to drizzle on top later once the salad is complete. Kale can be a little rough, so I'm doing this so it kind of makes it a little less stiff in a sense and also to make sure that it has all the seasoning in it. Let's set that aside and work on our shrimp. In a pan, let's get our olive oil going. Throw in our shrimp. Half a shallot minced. A fourth teaspoon salt. A fourth teaspoon garlic powder. And a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You don't want to overcook it, so once it's slightly pink, let's have it resting on a separate bowl. Okay, now we're gonna cut up all our veggies, and I'm gonna cut them up into bite-sized small cube pieces, just so it's easy to grab with your fork, and with any of these, if you guys don't like tomatoes, or if you don't like onions, and you don't like avocados, feel free to take it out or just sub it in for something else. I know I don't like olives, but I know people like olives, so. And later, same with the cheese. I'm gonna be adding Asiago cheese, just because it was something I had at home. But if you guys wanna add feta, and like throw some olives in there, and make it a little Greek or Mediterranean, that would work as well. Now it's assembling time. Let's add our salad, our kale to our bowl. Now we assemble. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna try to alternate colors because we have like two greens. So I'll put some red onions here. Okay, and then avocado. And then our shrimp. Every time corn, corn comes into the picture, it feels more festive. Mm -hmm. Like celery almost. Yeah. Cucumber. And lastly, some tomatoes. For now, let's set this aside and work on our second fruit salad. 
So before we move on, do you guys know what it's time for? Today's word of the day is 상큼 or 상큼하다, which means fresh. And since we are working with citrus, or well, we're going to be working with citrus, I thought this was a very fitting word. And in Korea, they also use 상큼 to describe people and personalities. Usually, like girl idol groups, or sometimes male ones too, they'll be like, wow, they look so Sankume, or they, yeah, right? Look Sankume. And, or they'll be like, oh, Sankumi. I'm like, oh, I think that's really gross. Like, you're like, oh, a little fresh. I don't know what you're calling them. They'll use it to describe people who seem very, like, young and cute, like, fresh. They seem fresh. That sounds really weird. Yeah. I think it's a little creepy if you use it that way. Yeah. Let's just refer to food. <laughs> so, just know it as you're talking about food in order to describe it. So, today's word of the day is Sankum, which means fresh. <laughs> I know some people opt out on dressings. You guys, that salads can be fun. Like you don't have to eat just a bed of lettuce, which is basically just fiber and water is all it's composed of. I want it to be nutritious and tasty at the same time. So that's why I want to share my love for veggies with you guys. Let's make the cilantro sauce. It's almost going to be like a chutney. Oh, I'm going to love this. Two tablespoons of EEOO. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. Two tablespoons of honey. And we'll blend this up. <laughs> so the sauce is done. Let's go ahead and slice up all our citrus and avocados. With some of these, it gets a little not pretty depending on how ripe the uh, avocado is. Um, but it's okay because we're going to be layering it so you can kind of hide it. So I'm prepared a black slab just to give it a little bit of contrast. Citrus looks really great if it's bright background like white, but I feel like it's more crisp when it's on a black because it makes the contrast even greater. So we're going to alternate colors. Since some of my avocados are not the prettiest, I'm actually going to lay that as the base first. Just going to put some cilantro pieces on the fruits. Gonna sprinkle some salt over the fruits because they say that sometimes adding salt to your fruits actually enhances the sweetness. And I'll add little dollops of the sauce over. And now let's add in some shaved cheese of your choice. I'm using Asiago cheese and some parsley for decor. It is time to eat. Go. Mm. Mm. I love the dressing. You like it? It, it tastes so good with the avocado. Mm. This is really good. Oh. Right? It tastes, the dressing is, it goes so well with the avocado though. Like lime and Cilantro. Mm -hmm. mm. It actually worked really well with the citrus. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the sprinkling of the salt maybe made it sweeter. Kind of balances it out. So mm -hmm. It has like acidic. And grapefruit too. The grapefruit doesn't seem as like bitter either. Yeah. It seems almost sweeter. For me, the biggest thing is how it looks. Mm, I know. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's literally the prettiest salad I've ever seen. Can't wait for you guys to try this. It's so good. Okay, we will work on the next one. Mm. The shrimp is gonna be I know, it's amazing. So good. Thank you. 
Oh, you're so cute, Essie. How is it? It's really good. I feel mm. like the ingredients work really well. Everything's super fresh and crisp. Mm -hmm. The plating on this is so pretty. I feel mm -hmm. like all I'm talking about is plating. The kale is like wilted enough where it's like, it's uh, crunchy, Yeah. but still has all the dressing all over it. Yeah, and normally I don't like kale salad because I feel like I'm usually chewing like a cow. Mm -hmm. But this one is very well dressed. Mm -hmm. like the fact that you massaged it in, it doesn't make it soggy because I also don't like soggy salad. This is like perfect. Mm -hmm. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keep this in mind and make this the next time you're making a salad and it will seriously be so good and so pleasing to the eye. And this one as well. It's like, this is like the savory salad. This is the like tangy mm -hmm. summer fruity salad. It's really good. I hope you guys try both of these out and we'll see you guys on our next video.